Hello world, Prof Mike Green here, talking about the last piece, I know you are all so thankful, the last piece to the research project, the final presentation. You've made a slide doc that if you were giving this presentation to me uh, without being able to present it, I could understand by itself. You've given me a copy of your uh, design presentation that you'll be using to record with. Uh, I'm making some feedback, giving that back to you, and now you're ready to finally uh, present this topic and uh, record it with your presentation and upload it to YouTube. So how are we going to go about doing that? First off, there's a couple of things. Your Google Plus account, your student email slash Gmail account comes with a YouTube account as well. So you're not going to use your personal YouTube account. And this is very important. If you do not use your RCC YouTube account, I will not accept your presentation. So you need to be sure to log into your student account at email.vccs.edu. And the second thing is that we're going to use Google Plus's tool called Hangouts On Air. And what that's going to do is it's going to allow you to uh, video yourself. So for a little bit of time, you'll see me, I'll see you, uh, just like you're watching me now. But for the most part, you will be seeing your PowerPoint. And you've seen, you know, there's a section of Hangouts over here on the right. We're going to go look at Hangouts under the main menu to gain access to the section that says Hangouts on Air. Um, now, I'm on the account that I use, which is not my student email account, so I've got one part of it already done. I'm going to have a separate video on creating your student, or I guess connecting your student Google Plus account to your student YouTube account. If you haven't done that before, what would happen before clicking this Start a Hangout on Air, it would say you need to connect this to your YouTube account. And, and so I'll walk, through you, uh, I'll walk you through that process in the video. Uh, click the link below to watch that specific piece. Once you've done that, you'll click Start a Hangout on Air, and you'll give it a name, uh, ITE 119 Research Project, or Research Presentation. You don't have to worry about telling what anybody what it's about, and you've got two options. If you're ready to go whenever you're uh, ready to go, you'll hit Now. If you want to schedule and say, no, I'm going to try to record it next Thursday at 7, then you can set this up ahead of time and set schedule for later. I'm going to click now. And it's very important to go ahead and remove this public. Okay, by default, Hangouts on Air are meant to be a public uh, video chat, essentially. Anybody can join, anybody can, yours would show up in this list here. And we don't want that. This is just between you and me. So what you're going to do is you're going to remove public and you're going to type my name in and you'll see me there. Now, What's going to happen is you're going to put my name here, but I am not going to actually be in the video chat with you live. This is so that it, it's a kind of like turning it in. By inviting me to this, it's going to notify me that you're trying to do a Hangout, and that lets me know that you're setting up your recording. So you put my name in here, and then we hit Share. And what Google Plus does is it creates this event page uh, for your Hangout. So you can see mine's uh, right now. If you would schedule yours at, for a later date, then it would show them. And when you're ready to go, you just click Start. So as far as the whole process goes, the first step is connecting your YouTube account to your Google Plus account. The second step is uh, creating the Google Hangout on Air, getting it scheduled. And then the third step, which we're getting ready to embark upon, is starting the Hangout. So if I click start, a window like this pops up and it needs a second to kind of load. But this is one of the reasons I love Google Hangouts is it's very lightweight. It runs in your browser because it's HD video. There is a plugin, so you'll need to go ahead and install the plugin. It's very quick. Okay, I just got my Google Hangouts plugin installed and my web browser automatically refreshed and now it's kind of got the little shaking icon here it's uh, loading the google hangout it's going to ask you again do you want to invite anybody and you're going to go ahead and click skip 
and you can see by default that uh, my webcam comes up I've got a toolbar here on the left I've got some extra uh, yours might not come up by default with this hangout toolbox this is a, a tool that I use often so if you don't see anything over here on the right sidebar that's okay mine's telling me that my microphone isn't working because I'm actually recording using another piece of software but as you hover if I leave my mouse alone for a second uh, you'll notice that some of these uh, icons might fade away just move your mouse hover towards the left or the top and you'll bring them back up so we can invite more people we can mute ourselves turn the camera off uh, adjust our bandwidth usage this if you're on a good high-speed connection you go and leave all the way up it does auto HD things look nice the settings is uh, allowing you to select if you've got you know I've got a headset over here I've got a different set of speakers whatnot so you want to make sure you get your microphone and your speakers set up properly if you've got multiple webcams you want to get those set up properly and click Save uh, so if yours is telling you hey it looks like your microphone is muted take a look at the cogwheel at the settings there on the left here we've got uh, chat we've got the one that we're going to use screen share and the rest of these actually might be a little different you can notice how I can close them out so you might not see all of these but you should see chat which you're not going to use and you should definitely see screen share screen share allows me to show either one specific application so this could be PowerPoint this could be Chrome my web browser or your entire desktop I've got desktop one and two because I'm using dual monitors currently but if I wanted to present my PowerPoint what I would do is I would click on desktop and you'll get this kind of infinite looping effect and that's okay that's supposed to happen what is happening now is the Google Hangout is recording my entire desktop and because it's looking at itself it's recording it into itself into itself and so let me do this I will move this window and uh, when you view the recording you will see that it's still recording my desktop I'll move it back the last piece of this puzzle and this is very important is the big green start broadcast button so please don't uh, run through your whole presentation and think you're done without ever recording this is the big red button so to speak or the big green button if we hit start broadcasting it says you're about to go live this is going to go on YouTube uh, you could broadcast for a tape hours but we're going to be talking for five or six minutes so we tell it OK notice it says going live starting and now I have a big red stop broadcast button and a live um, you know a little live symbol now when the when I'm watching the recording because I'm screen sharing using Google Hangouts uh, I won't see your face I'll see your desktop and that's okay what I'm looking for is for you to screen share so I can see your presentation let me go ahead and hit stop broadcast lets me know that it's been successfully terminated and what's happening now is this is automatically getting published to my YouTube channel it's to your student YouTube channel and as far as the process goes that's it so what I'm gonna do is I'm actually going to end this I can hit the little leave call here I can X out I want to go through uh, the entire process again with a presentation okay again the entire process from scratch so what I've got first off I've got a little PowerPoint here with no real content but just to go through the steps I'm logged into my Google Plus account and I go to Hangouts so again the first step is to schedule click the start a hangout on air we give it a name we remove public from the audience and you put me and you hit share that sets up the hangout Google Plus creates the page step two is to start the hangout window should look like this 
It asks us to invite people we don't want to. Skip. By default, it shows my webcam. And again, it's telling me my microphone is not working. So if yours shows this, you need to click settings and adjust your microphone. Uh, when it's working, this little uh, five, six dots down here will light up green based on how loud you are. So you can use that to help adjust yourself. It takes a couple of seconds to load the Hangout completely. You notice we cannot start the, there it is. Now we can start the broadcast. Before I start, what I can do is come in here. We're gonna go to screen share, choose my entire desktop. Now you might be tempted, you might say PowerPoint and you might be tempted to use that. What happens is when you go into presentation mode with PowerPoint, it does not properly record the presentation. So do not choose PowerPoint choose I want to share my entire desktop start the screen share you get the infinite loop effect we click start broadcast okay we're going live and as this is going uh, you might have a couple of seconds of dead air at the beginning of your video and that's quite all right what I'll do now is I switch over to my presentation and I go into presentation mode. Because I've got, uh, there we go, let me switch those. Because of this slightly more complex recording setup, uh, it doesn't look exactly the way yours will. I'll be seeing your entire PowerPoint. You're just seeing a portion of my slide here. But now I'm giving my presentation as if I was giving it to a live audience. It's recording myself at the same time. All of my animations are in here. I, I'm not using any for this, but if I had images, if I had animations, whatnot, they'd be uh, in my presentation. I'm giving it just as if I was standing up in front of the class and giving it live. I get done. Fantastic. Whew. I'm all done. Not quite. I've got a couple more steps. I need to Come back to my Hangout. Again, I'll get the infinite loop because I'm sharing my entire desktop. We click Stop Broadcast. It's been successfully terminated. And now Google is shipping that over to YouTube. I'll go ahead and click Leave the Call. It tells me it's over. Once you've completed your Google Hangout and you've closed out, you've given your presentation, what you can do is you can visit uh, youtube.com I've got the link directly to this below. It's youtube.com slash my videos, my underscore videos, or in the, in the UI on YouTube, you can click this button next to upload and hit video manager. This will take you to all of the uploads and you should only have one or two, uh, depending on how many times you go through the presentation, go through the hangout process, and you will see your, presen uh, your presentation video here. This isn't quite instant, but it's very fast. So when you get done with your Hangout, maybe, I don't know, five, 10 minutes later, you should see your video here. To finally submit, you're going to, I'm not gonna play, but you're gonna click on the video, get the URL from the address bar, copy that URL. You'll log into Blackboard, go into class, Go under the research project and all the way at the bottom we've got RP3-4. We'll click to submit. Instead of submitting your PowerPoint file again or anything like that, in the comments box you'll simply paste the, the URL of your YouTube video and click submit. Breathe a sigh of relief. You are finally done. If you've got any questions about this process, um, performing the you know, recording, doing the Hangout, whatever, comment uh, below, send me an email, send text, whatever, uh, and I will answer those. Thank you for watching.